Hello everybody, Shomai Shomali from ABD here. Have you actually enjoyed playing a Roblox game? Take a look at the Roblox game page. What do you see? So many simulator games, anime bandit beaters, low effort experiences that offer nothing of value. These new Roblox studios aren't focused on making fun experiences anymore. The Roblox that I was into was all about the goofy, silly experiences that you can mess around in and make new friends. I think she's coming or is she? Now it's all about getting that sweet Roblox E pussy and getting the fattest amount of money. What? That was my breaking point. I was tired of playing these trendy games and with these developers that keep producing the same concept over and over again. You can literally see it in their thumbnails. No integrity whatsoever. So for that reason, I wanted to find a Roblox game that I would actually enjoy and that would make me feel satisfied. But I still can't find anything. It took me months to find the games I had in Roblox Game Stunt right. Everything was getting boring again, and it was starting to fuck me up. I'm now finding it sad that I grew up on this platform and wasted so much time on it. The fact that Roblox doesn't even care anymore cuts the knife even deeper. All the charm, all the passion, was dumped in the trash to move forward to a much darker corporate route. So I was like, hey, how about we show these kids how it's supposed to be? So that's why me, popular YouTuber Show My Show My, comes in to save the day. I don't want you guys to have the same fate as me, so that's why I'm recommending you guys some of the Roblox games that I actually enjoyed. Now, do you want to feel how it's like to play a Roblox game then right? Oh! I have five stars! Combat Initiation is a fast-paced PBE movement shooting fighting game that is proudly inspired by great games. It's basically Devil May Cry and Ultra Kill. In this experience, you progress through waves of enemies gaining style points to gain a higher score with a primary and secondary weapon, resulting in a boss fight at the end of each level. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Baby Crock Band Attack. You're not having a schizophrenic episode. This is a Roblox game with oh, good playable play content. Yo, yeah, jump him, jump him, jump him, jump him! <laughs> in the course of a one week recording period, I have dumped 10 hours in this game. It got so bad that my therapist the almost left me. Kevin. Just throw the ball, come on, just throw the ball. We have Jason, the Chainsaw Man wannabe. This fucking piece of shit who keeps running away from me and Vagabond, the final boss of this game's chapter. During the intermissions, you can spend your hard-earned six on upgrades for your weapons, increasing the amount of combinations and opening endless possibilities for your playstyle. What can I say? Oh my god! What, Mav, what are you doing? <laughs> the best possible way to play the game is to gather every single enemy into a conga line, then get your therapist to equip the MK-153 rocket launcher, and watch as your frames explode. Okay, take aggro, take aggro. <laughs> oh! This is part of a therapeutic healing process to make my depression so go away. <laughs> For primaries, we have the sword, one of the most crucial close-range melee weapons that is needed if you want to enjoy the game. The sword can be upgraded to a firebrand, which is a slower, cooler version of the sword that can commit arson. Whoa, 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 whoa. But I haven't mentioned the best thing about it. You can parry anything. I'm talking about bullets, coins, bosses, barrels, cars. There is nothing that can stop you as long as you can parry. But can you parry the sponsor of this video? My Patreon, baby! That's right, nerds. For $5 a month, you can get your name in the credits of every video, get exclusive access to my channel, early access to my videos, and a role in the Discord server. 
Or, if you're rich like that, you can get the $10 one that includes your profile picture in the credits, get a funny picture on the green screen, and I will add you on Roblox 2 and kiss you <laughs> in-game. You can also get the... Oh. Oh, wow. So join the Show My Show My Patreon channel now so I don't end up starving to death. Thank you so much. Now if you want to be a full on sweat, you should get the Slingshot. The Slingshot is one of the primary ranged weapons that can shoot fully automatic pellets at your opponents. And if you press E, you can do a coin toss. Now if you're a cultured man like myself, you know exactly what's going on. If you pair the slingshot with a sword, you can pair the coin to redirect it, resulting in an instant headshot to the nearest opponent. The slingshot can be upgraded to the scatter blaster, which can fire 5 bullets at once. Now remember, you can parry anything. So if you time it perfectly, you can get an explosive shotgun. Just like in Ultra Kill. Oh my god. You can also upgrade your slingshot to a flamethrower, and if you press E, the propane tank comes out, and you can parry that shit to make it explode. And if you want to go even further, you can get the fucking firebrand sword and make a fucking nuke. And then we got the paintball gun, a firearm which could be upgraded to a BB gun that increases its efficiency. A standard shooting class you'd find in a roguelike. And if you pair the paintball gun with the slingshot, you can shoot the coin to redirect it to the nearest enemy. So you can just basically toss a coin, bam, toss a coin, bam, toss a coin, bam. Another class is the super ball, my girlfriend's favorite. Baller, where you control balls at your opponents. Your balls can be thrown at crowds of people and they'd immediately fall over to your massive juicy red balls. Super Ball can be upgraded to the Cannon Ball, which is a heavier version of your balls. That deals a lot of damage. Now if you pair your balls with a sword, you can parry it to go a lot faster. You can also jump higher with your balls when you look down. So if you pair that with the sword, you're basically CSGO surfing. There's movement mechanics in a Roblox game. How are you not sold yet? I haven't even talked about the soundtrack too because it fucking slaps! The different variety of enemies, the optimization, the simple graphics, the reference to different games, the weapon synergies. Everything about this game can vastly change the way you beat it, making combat initiation one of the most fun replayable experiences that I've ever played on Roblox. And if you manage to get through the waves of enemies, deal with the different bosses, and get to the final stage, the game throws everything at you and you have to show what you've learned throughout your journey, accompanied with one last symphony. Oh my god, map, map, is that what you I'm gonna get shot by the sniper, HSFB! <laughs> Oh my god! Combat initiation is a punch to the face to the awfully put together games in the platform, with the developers creating a project they would want to play themselves. It perfectly captures the destructive nature of old Roblox with subtle mechanics that make the game so much fun to play, proving to everyone that as long as you make something enjoyable, it would eventually blossom. And that puts every trendy Roblox game to shame. I'm giving Combat Initiation an Ultra Kill out of 5. Thank you Windforce Interactive for making such a wonderful game. And thank you Poto for cooking up an amazing OST. We're running out of budget here so we only have one game for each episode. But if you manage to get this video to 30k likes and check out my Patreon channel, link in the description. I'm gonna talk about a game that has little to no hand-holding, a game that is fully expansive, a game where you have to block, parry, dodge. The next game I'm gonna be talking about is called Stars Align.
Shabai, shabai, subscribe to Shabai, shabai. <laughs>